Yeah. <laughs> I didn't tell you when I did that video. <laughs> it was so fucking hard to keep a straight face. I, I'm not going to say nothing. I'm not going to mention nothing. I'm not going to say nothing about the head. You know, I'm not just. I'm just. Like my mechanic, Bill Warren, he just like. He just could not get over it. He just like. You know? He's like, damn, dude. <laughs> I mean, really? You. I didn't even recognize you. I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> he wasn't even sure he reached let me in the shop. You know, like I'm walking right in like I own the place. You know, and he's like, like, who the fuck are you, sir? <laughs> and he just like, I mean, he like lit up like seeing Santa Claus. You know, I'm like, wow. You know, he's like, damn. <laughs> that's, that's really, I mean, you still can't get over that. <laughs> In the, in the motor, you know, we had to hood up. We were, we're both in the motor, and he's just staring at me like it's the biggest grin on his face. Like, damn, huh? <laughs> you look good. You, damn, you, I said, is that why you didn't want me to learn by your wife? So she might want to hit on me and take me home. <laughs> but yeah, I do. Hey, I do feel I feel good. Yeah, and, and watching all the movies, I see guys doing this, you know. You know, you know, all the movies, you see guys doing this, you know, like Prison Escape, you know, see that on Netflix, watch that movie, Prison Escape, yeah, they're all, they all shave their heads, you know, everybody shaves their heads, and I see why, <laughs> yeah, my waiting for the women, yeah, I heard women love guys with shaved heads, yeah, you ever have sex with a 250 pound baby, <laughs> He says, like, you went on a baby's head, and women love babies, you know. <laughs> like, come here, let me feel that. <laughs> Damn, come here. Damn. Oh, yeah. Anyhow, you know. Yeah, okay, back to the... <laughs> I just seen that, yeah. I do feel free. Now, there's a guy at work, he says, I should let the beard grow and keep shaving the head. His daddy's like that. He, his dad shaves and said, well, he's going bald, and he shaves his head, and he's got the fucking beard going, you know. He says, I says, so if I let the beard grow and shave my head, your daddy would be hanging out with me? Tell him I said that. <laughs> I says, yeah, me and him go out to a bar and have some beers, you know. And they, and they says, yeah, they'd be calling us the James boys. Yeah, the James boys, because... Me and his dad, this is uh, the guy at work, he he does the, uh, make sure I'm recording, he does the uh, two and die, he's the two and guy guy, you know, he he makes the dies, he fixes the dies, whatever, you know, he's that guy, you know, well his daddy was there before, so his son took over, whatever, his dad moved on to another place, but his dad is the same age as me, same fucking birthday, the same fucking name, you know, James, I'm Carl James, he's, uh, God, well, oh, I know, he's a James boy, and, uh, we get together, there's gonna be some trouble, because, uh, we're both the same. We're both very intelligent, you know, don't let us fool you, you know. We ain't no stupid motherfuckers. We might act stupid and act dumb and shit, but we know a lot. And uh, the mechanic was impressed when I told him about tweaking up. See, I always thought that when you turn the distributor, you turn it clockwise. He turned it backwards just a little bit, though, just a little bit. I mean, watch my, watch my hand. He did like this. That's it. So that was like an eighth of an inch. Was it really worth it? You know? But he turned it that way. Just a little bit. Because I thought turning the match was turning it that way. He goes, no. He says, it turns that way. So when you turn it this way, it makes it more advanced. So then it's got to turn harder. Ah. Really? Well, I always thought you'd... Turn it that way. No. Oh. So you turn it backwards. I seen a lot of people turn it that way, so maybe that's why their shit was fucking up. I seen a lot of people do that. Anyway, it's anyhow, anywho. 
soon as he advanced to the, or advanced this way a little bit, tightened it up, then he said, now do you want the hot idol or you want the cold idol? There's two idols you can adjust. And I know the cold idol is for the choke. Okay? It makes it run faster. Should have probably told him to turn that one up a little bit. The cold uh, choke idol. That's underneath there. I don't know about that. I watched him do it. Uh, maybe I should have. Yeah, so it warms up a little bit quicker. Takes like 15, 20 minutes to warm it up. It turns up just a little bit. There you go. Uh, warm up a little quicker. Uh, but once he did, the hot idol, you know, so we did cramshaft idol, you know. And then it smoothed out. He says, yep, you were right. Once it gave a little bit of an idle, it straightened right out. Yeah, and then I have him turn it off, and I says, recheck the bolts on the pan, make sure they're tight. Now, I believe this gas thing was an issue, because like I said, as soon as I started it up, it started juggling. As soon as I started it. And then I left the, the Shell gas station. As soon as uh, I drove it, that motherfucker ran beautiful. It ran fine. All the way to Madison. Shit, I can bury that needle in a fucking second. When I first started it, it started chocolate. <laughs> and it says right there, right there on my gas needle, I will let it few only. I will let it only. So this premium, come on, people. This premium, let it gas. Did I just fuck up my car? I put 12 gallons in there. 40 bucks. 12 gallons. They had a quarter tank in there. They put it almost to the full mark. And as soon as I started it, I started chugging it right from the beginning. Right from the beginning. Now, I know they got a uh, substitute, lead substitute. Oh, wait. If it's, if it's premium. So if it is leaded, it didn't say that. That pissed me off. You know how it says regular and unleaded? See, they quit selling that shit, you know, because back in the day, the older cars took regular gas. I think that's what that premium is. I think that's what that premium is, let it. Yes. But my car don't take leaded gas, it takes unleaded gas. So we gotta check that into that, you know. Maybe I'll Google it, I don't know. Premium gas. Pure one hundred percent gas, no ethanol. That's what it said. But there's a big yellow sticker on it and it's a big red handle. But on the other side, it says regular unleaded, I think. I don't know. Why do I always fuck myself? Oh, I love making life a challenge. <laughs> That's why I shave my head and make life a challenge. Because, well, I'm just thinking, if I ever got in a fight, some guy would love to grab my fucking hair and fucking pull it. Grab my hair now, motherfucker. <laughs> Grab my beard now, motherfucker. You can't. When I come at you, I'm going to come at you. There ain't nothing you can grab. You can grab my ear. You can rip my ear off. <laughs> you can grab my nose, rip my nose off. You can grab my mouth, rip my face off. Hair is a weakness. Hair is a big weakness because that's the first thing bitches, punk 
motherfuckers do. They grab your hair. They grab your hair. They grab your beard. They think that's a weakness. If anybody ever grabbed my hair, I'm going to fucking pull that shit right out. I'm fucking crazy. Don't piss me off. I'm the guy that starts punching myself in the face. The matter I get, the matter I fucking punch myself. Come on! Hit me, goddamn! Hit me! Oh, hit me, goddamn! Hit me! And people, see, that's called psyching out your opponent. When they see you punching yourself in the fucking face, and it ain't hurting you, they're fucking gonna run. Most likely, <laughs> I'll tell y'all, when motherfuckers see you that fucking crazy, they're going to run from you. Because when you get a hold of them, you're going to really fucking hurt them. <laughs> you know, and when they're hitting you, that's just making you matter. That's the way I am. I'm crazy. I'm crazy, Carl. I cut my arm off with a chainsaw. I cut my arm off with a chainsaw. Y'all don't know what fucking pain is until you cut your goddamn arm off with a chainsaw. I cut that motherfucker off. I cut that motherfucker off with a chainsaw. You know what? That didn't bother me. What bothered me was the mosquito spray off. I mean, I sprayed it on my arm really thick and heavy. The mosquitoes in Wisconsin, those were bad. So I sprayed that whole can off on my arm really good. So what was happening was... The mosquito spray off was going into that raw meat. And I was telling them to cut it off up here. Pull up my sleeve and cut it off up here. Cut it off! I said, cut it off! Cut it off up here! Cut it off! Just to make it stop burning. So I want y'all to do a test. You know... Put a little cut or a scratch on your hand and spray off on it once. You feel the fucking pain. You get a little scratch. Or spray some off on it. Then think about me. That's just a little scratch. I mean, cut your fucking arm off. Then spray some off on it. Yeah, spray some off in your mouth. Yeah, spray it in your eyes. Let that shit soak in. Yeah, drink it, eat it. It's poison. This shit was going in my raw fucking meat. Just to get a fucking pain. There's no way of getting that shit out. It goes in and it smothers it and it eats away at your flesh. And it, you should have seen my arm, man. It was flat. It, I mean, it was completely flat, you know? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, look at that, it was flat, cut, cut that part, it was hanging by that flesh, this is the only part that didn't get cut, yeah, a little bit, a little bit, yeah, see, see, it starts right there, it ends right there, see at that angle, see that, at that angle, it's cut at an angle, man. I'll hold on to a branch right here, watch the video, yeah, watch the video. How I cut my arm off with a chainsaw by Carl Kish. Watch the fucking video. People are like, did you remake it? I do got a chainsaw. <laughs> Maybe that's why the landlord got me out of that house before I fucking re reenact that. He's like, oh, good God. He, no, he's got a chainsaw. No, no, he's not living here. He's not going to cut his fucking other arm off on my fucking property and sue my fucking insurance. No. I gotta get him the fuck out of there. Look at him. Watch me watch me run that fucking chainsaw. What's the name of that chainsaw? Predator. Yeah, Predator. I, I love that chainsaw. I just bought that chainsaw. I just bought that chainsaw. I just bought that chainsaw. And I was in there cutting up them pallets. Watch me. That was in October. That was right, uh, Halloween. <laughs> You'll be dealt with. Pow, pow. Yeah, so y'all seen the, 
the, the love bear, toxic murder thing. Yeah. He had the same judge I had with Ann Rigazzi. He had the same judge, and the judge told him. August 15th, boy. This is it. He's either to the end of time or someone dies. This is going to be settled. This is it. He had seven fucking lawyers, and all seven of them bailed out. Bailed out. He can't get a lawyer to represent him. And he says, the, the judge says that he's going to be acquitted without counsel. That means he's going to slam the mallet down and and say this is what it's going to be. That's it. So the Fox Lake murder. Yeah. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, I was telling some people at work, I says, he's got the same judge, Pulaski or whatever, uh, Plowy or whatever, just read it, you know. And um, he had the same judge that I had. Yeah. And uh, I was telling people like this, don't I look good? I look intelligent, don't I? Uh, the, the judge was like, wait a minute, what is your address? No, what was your current address? It was uh, 401 West Green Street. Was Carl Kish your neighbor? <laughs> yeah, he was. Five years. And he's going to be like, ha, ah, fucking shit. If I would have lived with that motherfucker five years, I'll be killing somebody too. <laughs> YouTube car get subscribed. I ain't saying nothing. I ain't, you know, I ain't <laughs> just that. You know? But Burn and Slay said I was the best neighbor they ever had. Because you know why? Because I kept to myself. I kept to myself. I said, y'all motherfuckers do whatever the fuck you want. Leave me the fuck out of it. I said, y'all go ahead and kill each other. I don't give a fuck. Just leave me the fuck out of it. YouTube crowd gets this crap. Bye. I'm from Milwaukee, and, and he was from Milwaukee. His mom grew up three blocks away from where I lived, on Brown Street. She lived on 27th and North Avenue. Three blocks away from my house. When I took her home that, that Easter day, and Vern and Slay were out in Madison. Left her there. She come knocking on my door and wanting to ride home. And when I took her home, I'm like, Dad, this is my old neighborhood. She says, Really? Oh, yeah, I grew up on Brown Street. Well, ain't that something? We need to hang out, she says. You, you and me need to hook up. Here's my number. You call me. I like you. I need, I need me a white man. <laughs> When I found out the way she was, she she needed a servant. She didn't need a white man. She needed a servant because she, she said, "Go get my, go get, go get this. You open that door for me. <laughs> you know, like, you don't blow your horn. You come in and get me. You carry my things and you carry them like this. I couldn't. No, I couldn't hang with her because she didn't need a a white man. She needed a servant. There ain't no goddamn servant. Bye.